Oh, I just don't even want to know where this is going. You, is and, this, this, and also, Gene Divas, I'm only two thirds of the way through this. <laughs> is this a letter or a porno? Help, I've fallen into Spider-Man's web. Lucky you. Dear William Jordan and Exec PB, please keep me anonymous for reasons which will soon become apparent. Oh, here we go. I'm a gay man and I have been with my boyfriend for over eight years. We're very much in love, but things have slowed down in the bedroom over time. Last weekend, we attended a family gathering at his auntie and uncle's house. We stayed over and we were due to travel home the next day with their son. My partner's 19-year-old cousin, who was at university in Newcastle, oh, where we live. Oh, going? I opened his, the cousin's, bedroom door to let him know we were ready to leave. I found him laid on his bed, pleasuring himself in nothing but a pair of white socks while holding a pair of black boxes over his face. Just as I realised what I'd walked into, Jesus. he climaxed over his, there's a lot of detail in this, hard-toned body. I was shocked, so I walked out and headed downstairs, not revealing what I'd witnessed. When I headed back up to the guest bedroom, I saw my black boxes folded in half on top of my weekend bag. Oh, God. He'd been using them when I walked in. Oh, my God. I suppose it was flattering and a bit of a thrill. He's not out. I had no idea he had feelings for men, and certainly not me. After a socially awkward journey home, I decided to ignore it, as he was due to come to ours for dinner the following evening. He came over as planned, but that night, when I got into bed, I felt something under my pillow. Later, I realised, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Later, I realised it was a pair of his worn white briefs. Did he want me to return the favour? Jesus fucking wept. I decided to mess it. I just don't. I. I decided to message him saying I knew he had used my boxes that day and I didn't think this was appropriate for him to leave his underwear in our bed when I'm in a relationship with his cousin. The next day, however, I found myself smelling his briefs and feeling incredibly horny. I asked him if I could return them to his flat and he agreed. He buzzed me in. Oh, I just don't even want to know where this is going. You, is and, this, this... and also, Gene Divas, I'm only two thirds of the way through this. Is this a letter or a porno? This is... Oh, oh my. Oh my God, I have just read something. Gee, right, wait, wait. Let, let's just both have a drink. He buzzed me in and I headed up to his front door, which was open. He shouted that he was in his room. I wondered if I'd find myself in a similar position. Would he be naked? No, he was dressed as Spider-Man. He knows I have a thing for Tom Holland. And he said that he thought I'd like his Halloween outfit. It was obvious that he was completely naked under a thin layer of lycra. Kinky little bastard. His manhood growing... As I took it all in. Oh my God. Where is, wait, <gasps> where is this going? Oh Jesus wept. He kissed me and I couldn't resist this kinky fantasy. Two hours of passionate sex followed and he fell asleep in my arms. I cheated for the first time with my partner's cousin, which has no apostrophe, but that, quite frankly, is the least of your worries. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what had I done with no question mark? He said he'll only keep it a secret if I continue to sleep with him. What a bitch. Oh, Jesus. As Where he... is this bloody going? As... They wouldn't even write this on EastEnders. As he isn't getting what he needs from younger men at university. What do I do? Help. P.S. William, I was so happy for you and Mikey. Congratulations <laughs> again. Will you stay away from us? Thank you very much. <laughs> Who's that? Anonymous? Anonymous. We protect our sources. We always protect our sources. Um... Oh shit! Right, let's let's break this down. I, we just when we it's, think that is okay. It, do you know what got the ball rolling on this? The watermelon. Ooh, yeah. And it was the watermelon that really shocked us. The guy whose housemate was shagging the watermelon. Then it was the blank profile on Grinder. Mm -hmm. Swapped nudes, having dirty chat. For, turns out it was his dad. Do you know how many people ask me about that? By the way. Yeah, I get people asked, get but... it all, all the time. Then it was recently the person who was selling their piss to strangers yes. in the street and watching them drink the piss. And now it's people shagging the partner's cousin dressed as Spider-Man. I, I mean, 
it's wrong what you did because you cheated on your partner. And if you didn't have an open relationship, that's obviously wrong. It's also a relative in law, which that adds a second layer to the cheating. Yeah, it's just... It's also, however, wrong of, let's call him Spider-Man, to then blackmail you. Yeah, oh God. You must continue to sleep with me, otherwise I'm going to tell. If he's blackmailing you, you're going to have to fess up. Mm. You're going to that. You cut. You um. You're going to have to fess up. And I say this. We've said this a few times. I presume and, anonymous. Your part, and, your husband does not listen to this podcast. And I'm not being funny, but you went round to his flat. You knew what was going to happen. I think uh, you did stick your finger in the socket. Yeah, I beg As your pardon. Were. Well, he might have done him <laughs> in more ways than one. So you've, you're going to have to fess up. And just there's more if it's family, relatives, best friends, don't ever get involved. I mean, don't cheat anyway, but don't ever get involved. I would say, zooming out, the fact that <sighs> forget the cousin element or the cousin in law. I don't want to sound like I'm judging. Cause... Well, mm, but the fact that you did cheat and you said you've been with your boyfriend for eight years, are there, you know, is there a bigger issue you need to deal with here? Is it actually under, you are thinking maybe the relationship with your boyfriend has come to an end? Possibly. But maybe not because you feel so guilty. I don't know. I would go and talk to a professional therapist and if the, if Spider-Man continues, this is ridiculous, I'm about to say this, if Spider-Man con continues to blackmail you... <laughs> If Spider-Man... Help, I'm being blackmailed by Spider-Man. That's the episode title. Um, if he continues to do that, you have to tell your boyfriend. Because that will take all... power away from Spider-Man. It's ridiculous. He sounds like a right creep. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No, seriously, I hope you can sort it out, because this is a big ball of shit that you've got to deal with. Do you know what? I'm glad we've done this episode... Slightly drunk. Because if I was doing this sober, I think I would have found that letter very difficult. Please just... I mean, it all goes on. It does, doesn't it? Can we have something nice next? I'm blagged. I don't... Can people... Yeah, again, can people not write in about, you know, how do you address a bishop during Lent? Or, you know, something like that. How do you address a bishop during Lent? Exactly the same as not in Lent. What do you call a bishop? Your grace. I say your grace, I think I am drunk. I'm not, I don't have the powers of recall that I have when I'm sober now. Who do you call your holiness? The Pope. Who do you call your eminence? Other people within the Roman Catholic Church. Oh, is it? Yeah. Like the apostolic nuncio. You try saying apostolic nuncio, pissed. What do you call a nun? <laughs> Sister? Yes. Or, if you've head butted them again, the prosecution. <laughs> We'll see you on Friday for the... Oh, God, we're totally... I don't know if it's because we're pissed or we're just blown away by that letter. Probably both. Say that again? Probably both. Probably both. Probably both. Oh, wow. Oh, doing things for you. It really is. She's a pair of my underwear. <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah! Ah! <laughs>